Hello everyone, you are watching Edupedia World videos. We are learning PowerPoint and my name is Neeru Verma. Topic for today's session is Applying Animation. We have already learned that how to apply animation to the different objects how to apply the different kind of animation and how these objects move across. In this session we'll try to understand and try to learn how the animations can be created and applied to a different objects. Now this is the slide I have and one object is already inserted on it. I have found one more object here and inserted it. What I want is that the person would be holding the umbrella and would be moving across. Now I'm going to place him to a proper position with the help of the cursors here. Alright, so we have got the two objects now. We have placed them as if the person is holding the umbrella. Now I just want to group both these objects. I need to click them. I need to select both of them with the help of the control key and with your mouse click. You can select both the images and then click on the format tab in the picture tools and click on the group command. You will find the option group here. Click on this now we have grouped this object now we want that this particular object is going to move in a particular pattern so we have selected this click on the animation pane click on the drop down and select more motion path the first path what we are going to like this let's say up okay the other motion path that I want to select is I need to click on add animation once again if I want to add multiple animation to an object I need to click on add animations now once again more motion path and this time I want to select this arc up option okay now I want to shrink the size We need to add one more animation now. In the similar way, add more animation. In this way we have created a series, a path we have created for this object that how it's going to travel. Now again I want to make the changes here. I want 
this particular object would move automatically so I'll select start after the previous view this this is how the object is going to move if I run the slideshow I need to click once only for the first time moment and after that all the moments would be on its own because we have selected the option start after the previous let's see what's gonna happen if I'm going to press enter so this is how we have created we have grouped the object and we have provided uh, a path that how it's going to move we can create some other animation series also like a flying object suppose we want a particular plane or something that is moving in a direction so we can define the path and after that the plane is going to move in some direction these are the paths you can edit them also you need to right click on this and you have got the edit points click on this you will get some points here if you want you can delete the points also you can add the point delete the point close the path straight the point also so you can move directions as well suppose we select this at the point so what we have done is we have added some of the points here you can click on this option also straight segment the segment between the two points that that would be straightened so in this way you can modify the paths also by adding the points you can give the directions to for the moving object so this is how you can create an animation kind of series where the object is moving in a particular direction so I hope you have learned and you have understand how more animations can be created how the options are applied to the object the animation the grouping and other options and how we can create an animated series we do have the options for adding the timing also once you click on this path click on the animation you do have the duration here two seconds so you can click on the path here and after that you can decrease the duration also like we have made this for one second then again we have done this for one second so once we are going to run the slideshow let's see what's gonna happen now I have pressed enter the object is going to move fast in the one second and later on for the two second for the two arcs we have created the sequence as one second so that was it for today's session thanks everyone thank you for watching edupedia world videos